A very happy Friday. I'm so excited because I'm off to Gore for the weekend for the Gold Guitars. Last year was my first year in Gore for the Gold Guitars. I'm so looking forward to being back there this year. It is just the most glorious weekend with the best southern hospitality you could hope for. Here's the sort of thing we could be in for this year. This is last year's winner, Jenny Mitchell. But you get lost again How are you doing, darling? The Gold Guitar is going to be a brilliant weekend in Gore. And on at the moment at the Isaac Theatre Royal in Christchurch is Mark Hadlow's one-man show, Mammal, Middle-Aged Man in Lycra, written by Kiwi Greg Cooper. This show was raved about in Auckland. It was raved about when he first did it at the Court Theatre in Christchurch. Basically, it's a guy who's middle-aged, funny that, who loses everything, including the shirt off his back. He ends up having to wear lycra and join the cycle group of men who he pretty much hated before that. Mark plays about eight different characters, and I caught up with him at the Isaac Theatre Royal to hear more about the show. Uh, there's some wonderful stuff. There's some very good um, reflections on life, especially for men. And a lot of women who have come and seen the show have loved that reflection um, with regards to men's uh, problems and issues and how they discuss them and how they don't discuss them. So uh, let alone prostate cancer, um, testicular cancer and all that sort of thing. So there's a real, there's a real, um, there's a real important element in the show mm -hmm. about uh, men uh, being able to talk about things, men finding out that they actually um, just have to be themselves. They don't have to be anything or any, like, look how good I am in business, look how good I am, I'm really good at what I do, when they just have to be themselves. Fabulous actor, fabulous theatre, well worth seeing this weekend in Christchurch. Now, if you're staying in, I promise some binge-worthy entertainment. It is the second season of 13 Reasons Why, already a lot of buzz around this. So a bit of a recap, season one was surrounding the death and indeed suicide of Hannah Baker. She left 13 cassettes tapes sort of slightly incriminating quite a lot of people actually while there's no cassette tapes in season two it's all about polaroids and what follows on from season one is first of all the investigation into her death but also the recovery and the getting over it for a lot of her classmates but there is a bit of a cover-up going on as well i've been told that you shouldn't binge watch this all in one go because it's quite heavy but once you start with a show like this, you just can't stop. 13 Reasons Why, season two. You don't know what was happening in this photo. You don't know what happened after. We're all in this together now. Don't you know about what goes on at this school? This is proof of who they all are. The truth doesn't always make things right. It's gonna keep happening. It doesn't stop. And at the movies, this caught my eye straight away, mainly because of the title, because I love all things retro. It's called Kodachrome. Jason Sudeikis is in this. Basically, he's been estranged for his, from his father for over a decade. His father was a very, very famous photographer who still got these roles of Kodachrome film, but there's only one place left in the United States that will develop them. It's closing soon, so they need to go on a bit of a road trip. Now, it comes with all that stuff of, I haven't seen my father for 10 years, how are we going to get on? add in the complication that his father is terminally ill and this makes for and this sounds really bad a really satisfying film i don't kid myself that i was any kind of husband or father you must face yourself yeah you've had a great big life I remember better days. nothing good comes from living the past so that is Kodachrome, well worth checking out at the movies this weekend. If you happen to be in Gore, I will see you there. Otherwise, have a fabulous and indeed very safe long Queen's birthday weekend.